Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the University of Lethbridge Faculty of Education. My name is Keith Griff Yoon, and along with Doug Chuckley, Laura Lai Lenore, and Aaron Stout, we'll be teaching you Education 3504 Evaluation of Learning. Assessment and evaluation are slowly changing, but we need to keep this change moving, or we will continue to use grading practices that have been around since your great grandparents were in school. Maybe even your great great grandparents, for all I know. And the last time I checked, the world is infinitely different than 100 years ago. Back then, cars weren't even very common, let alone planes. But today we can send satellites out of our own solar system, so why are we still assessing and evaluating like we did then? Did you know that assessment and evaluation aren't the same things? Yeah, they're often used interchangeably, but they really shouldn't be. This is just one of the key concepts we'll be discussing this term. Assessment and evaluation should be much bigger than just marks in a book. One of the reasons we all dislike the concept is because we feel we're being judged by our grades, and in reality, we are. We can't get away from this as teachers. At some point, we have to make a judgment call and say, here's where this student has progressed to. But the problem is that depth of progression is not well demonstrated by a percent or a letter grade. And how do we make grade growth? Not everything needs a number or letter grade. Sometimes a comment is far more effective. Other concepts we'll be discussing include feedback for improvement, formative and summative assessment, validity in its four types, concurrent, construct, content, and consequential. We'll also be talking about reliability and the types of errors that can occur that negatively affect student outcomes. And over all these items, we really need to put fairness. In reality, assessment should drive our planning for student success, not come as an afterthought. Yes, we're going to try to change everything you've ever thought about assessment in only eight short weeks. And believe me, I've seen it happen. So be ready to have your paradigm challenged in evaluation of learning.